What's up yard freakos? Thanks for joining me on this video. So today I'm going to be giving my sod webworms an eviction notice. So as y'all probably remember from last year, I had a major sod webworm infestation and it completely took out this part of the yard. Now, I've been doing a good job of having this part of the yard recovered, but there are still spots, like here for example, that these sod worms were just completely out of control. And so I spent the whole winter uh, looking up ways that I could control these things naturally. Because if you remember from my video last year, I did try and use some uh, Copenhagen to pour into the yard, but then I realized that it was just too late that these, um, the larva of these moths of the sod webworms would you know, basically be burying into the ground at that point. And so me pouring Copenhagen in there just wouldn't help them. And let's just say I'm not the biggest fan of using pesticides um, if it can be helped. And so I tried to find something that I could use that I'm, you know, comfortable with using that I wouldn't have a problem with putting in my yard. And I think I found it. And what I'm going to be using is called lawn tonic. That's right, you heard me right. It's called lawn tonic, and it's a set of ingredients you could literally find within your house that you can use control sod webworms. So it is about mid-June right now, which means sod webworms are in the middle of their the moss, the adult, the adult stage of sod webworms are moths, and they are in the middle of laying eggs, and the larvae are beginning to hatch. And so by me treating for the next month on my lawn with this lawn tonic, I'm gonna to be basically giving an eviction notice to these guys and saying, you're not welcome here, go elsewhere. This lawn is not for munching up. So I hope I have you intrigued on that. So let's see what this lawn tonic is and how you can use it yourself. So this is basically it right here. This is all you need to be able to give solid wet worms an eviction notice for your lawn. So let's go through it. So you need a can of Coke, a tall, a uh, thing of craft beer. I would say generic beer, but this was on sale, so I'm gonna be using this one. This is just a general lager. Ammonia, mouthwash, Dawn soap, and then a hose and spray. And basically what you do is you take half a cup of Dawn, Take your mouthwash. So the Dawn is a wetting agent. This is what helps penetrate the yard and give those sod wet worms an eviction notice through multiple layers of the soil. Next is mouthwash. The mouthwash is the key ingredient. This is where you um, add, this is basically the stuff that will kill the sod wet worms and keep them from infecting your yard. The next thing we have is ammonia. The ammonia is another half cup and this is just to um, apply a little bit of nitrogen to your yard and keep it healthy while it's battling the sod webwork. Okay, next, next you take the coke. Take your generic beer, domestic beer. And that's it, you have lawn tonic. Okay, and then what you do is you basically take um, your hose and sprayer and set it for three ounces. That basically means you're putting out three ounces of this product per gallon that the hose is putting out. Since we have basically 36 gallons here, that will get about 10 gallons of water out, more or less, for you to apply to your yard. Now, I can't stress how important enough it is to include the tall can of beer while applying this. It's very important, I'll show you why.
That just about wraps it up here for lawn tonic and getting those sob webworms out of the yard. You guys take it easy. Have a good week. I'll catch you next time. Hit the, that subscribe button, and I'll talk to you later.